Today we're going to be covering the second video in the WPS Office series. Now when you download it and install it, and I'm going to do these videos across Linux, across Windows, across Mac, I want to show you the ease of use on whichever platform you want to use it on. But today we're going to focus on the docs part. So let's go over here. You know when you open it up, it's going to, let's explore WPS AI. And right down here, you do have a quick start guide. You can, you got the PDF, you've got the docs, you've got the uh, Excel SX, and of course the PowerPoint. But we're going to concentrate on docs today. Now what I want to do is I want to just go ahead and let's start something new. Let's go with a new doc. Let's open this up. And when you want to start a new doc, you can come over here and you can pretty much pick anything you want. Or if you're somebody that just needs to type something up real quick, you can go to blank. And then it brings up a very familiar looking layout. And it gives you little tips right here. So let's close this and it gives you the option to start writing with WPS AI. I'm not going to use that in here, so I'm just going to skip that. But if you come up here to the layout, you've got a format painter, you've got paste. Of course, you can pick your fonts right here and then your font size. And I like to go over all of this because a lot of times people will say, you know, it's not as feature rich as, let's say, a Microsoft Office or something like that. I want to go through here and show you how easy it is to use, how you've got your quick menus up here, you've got your ribbons, whatever you want to call them. But you've got a lot of base things right here that you can understand. You can add effects to your text, grow your font, shrink your font, change it. You can highlight text if you want to, the color of your text. And then, of course, centering it. So if you wanted to come over here and do something like, uh, let's just go Eba Central. If I can spell. And then you can come down here and highlight that. If you want to center it, you can center it to the left. Or just do right back to the left you can or to the right I'm sorry I said left and then of course you can add bullets and you got pretty much everything that you're gonna have on say something like a Microsoft Office you can go over to insert you can put cover pages breaks page numbers headers and footers uh, screenshots you can add pictures or images if you want to you can go from file let's say you wanted to put something from file uh, we come over here and do a random thumbnail. Let's go with the penguin. Let's go ahead and open that up. And there's the penguin. And of course, you can resize it if you want to. However you want to do that. And there it is right there. If that's something you want. Or you can go back and go, hey, you know what? I need to undo that and just go back to where I was. And then word art, text boxes, work on equations. As you can see, it's very feature rich. Now, you will notice up here that you do have free trial. This right here works easier with WPS Pro. Now, if you want to try WPS Pro, it opens up a lot of uh, WPS AI features, uh, PDF text images and links. If you need to edit PDFs, that's there. Full access to 100,000 plus templates. And then, of course, you can edit on the web, mobile app in real time but what i'm saying right now is you don't need it if you don't need all those features you don't have to pay for it so don't worry about it and then you come over here to your page layout margins watermarks you can do whatever you want over here guys references table of contents update toc toc level previous footnote next footnote it gives you pretty much everything that you're going to use is right there at your fingertips okay now what i want to do is go up here real quick i just want to close this i'm not going to save it now what i want to do is go ahead and open something that's already in a docx format and open it up and i'm going to go with something like i think i did this like a year and a half ago let's open it up yeah and it's going to open it up and you can adjust this however you want to if you want to make it bold you can make it bold italicized underline the whole thing if you want to Let's go ahead and unbold it. You can go ahead and change it to different fonts. Go ahead and change the size of those fonts. So, I mean, it really makes things really easy to do. It's really easy to use. And there are so many different things you can do for it. If you want to go ahead and make it, I just made it centered. Uh, like I said, this is something I did almost two years ago. I think it was a radio script somebody was wanting to do uh, for a meat company. But... Anyway, that is what it is. You can handle anything that you're going to get 
from a Microsoft document. Uh, anybody that might be emailing you, you can go through these. You can open it up inside the docs. You can do whatever you need to do. It's completely compatible, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay, if I do this, am I going to be able to share it? You don't got to be trapped in the Microsoft ecosystem any longer. This makes it easy, and it makes it really simple to just keep carrying on with business without having to worry about a 365 subscription or purchasing a full-fledged office suite or whatever you might be doing out there. So I'm going to go ahead and close out on that. And they do have a cloud feature that you can pay for if you want to, to where if you're doing collaborations, you can. But I really just wanted to go over and show you guys how easy it is to do documents on here. Now, if you're doing a different kind of document, let's say you need something from a template. You, know, you want to do a schedule or you want to do a weekly schedule or something like that. You can come down here pick on it and if you want to use this one you can download it you'll have to create an account if you want to so what i'm going to do real quick is i'm going to put in the information i already have and we're going to download this template so sit tight okay i just entered it i'm going to go ahead and download it i don't know why my dark theme just disappeared but we will get to that later and there you go i've downloaded the schedule so what I'm going to do is, and I think it's pretty simple, you just come over here. You can edit that any way you want. And let's go ahead and just, yeah. Central, not using central anymore. So let's go ahead and can we change the, yeah, you can make that bold, italicized, underline. So you can adjust it any way you want. You want to make it bigger, you can. And I like that. It goes ahead and shows you the bigger you can kind of just get it fit in there see a lot of other office suites don't offer that you just hover and it shows you what it'll be different sized LibreOffice doesn't do that well at least the most recent one i've used doesn't so that's my personal experience with that but wps office is very feature rich and i wanted to definitely go over all of this and i want to see why it changed the way it looked where did the dark theme go ribbon settings show ribbon group names you can change it you can go to a classic if you want to okay that changes this up here so i do like that i just want to get this back to a dark setting i don't know what i did here i guess i messed something up options general you got a lot of different options down here. Edit, general and save features, file location, track changes, spell security, trust center, customized ribbon. Maybe if I go home, let's close that. Let's go over here. There's the theme. I was just in the wrong area, was I not? Comfort, custom, icons. You can change those if you want to. Let's go to a dark. Okay, I don't know how that changed. So let's go back over to our document. There we go. I like that much better. I just really like the dark theme. But what I'm telling you is if you, you're interested in WPS, I definitely zip over, download it, uh, throw it on your PC, whether you're on a, a Windows machine, Linux, Mac, it's not really going to matter. It runs beautifully on all of them. But that's pretty much the documents part of everything. Like I said, it gives you plenty of different tools. It gives you tools that you're used to seeing, especially if you're coming from the Microsoft world. And it's really easy to use. You can step out of that and step into this and pretty much do everything and not miss a beat. So that's my second video of covering WPS Office. This is the documents part. We still got a lot more to cover. We got slides, sheets, PDF, uh, air page. We're going to cover the AI. We got a lot of information coming at you. Uh, I'm not going to save that because it's just me downloading and using it as an example. But if you are a user of WPS Office or you're thinking about using it, drop me a comment below. And if you think there's something that I missed, please drop that in the comments below too. Also in the description, there will definitely be a quick download link if you want to zip on over and give this thing a try. I'll make sure to put that in the description below. Thank you guys for watching today and I will see you in the next video.